Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be showing you five secret features currently in Title Update 19 for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. So, although I think cool features that you have to mod, like uh, the stained glass and the command blocks are cool, that's why I made videos by the way, I think that most people aren't willing to mod their console games, most people just want to play what they have right now. Uh, so what I figured I'd do is show you five secret features that you can actually do without having to mod your game. Uh, so the, if you're uh, wondering how I defined secret, these are features that 4J Studios didn't include on their changelog. Uh, the changelog is how they let us know what's going to be in the next update, so therefore they're logically secret because most people don't know about them. So, um, yeah, if you like this idea for a video, if you like nothing to bump the game, please do like the video, let me know. It supports the channel and lets me know you want to see more of this stuff. With that said, let's get straight into it. The first thing you probably, uh, the uh, first secret feature, uh, sorry, and that is uh, stackable snow or layerable snow. So, basically, before this update, if you wanted to use snow, you had two options. You had uh, this little bit of uh, you know snow you can put down on the ground, or you had an entire snow block. And, uh, you know, sometimes near of those options were really great because it means there's this really kind of big uh, like gap between them and it doesn't look natural at all uh, even in the natural generation so a cool benefit if uh, stackable snow is um you can just stack snow as much as you want. Uh, and there's eight separate states for it. So this is, uh, you know, full eight. This is seven. This is six. Uh, this is, oh, <laughs> that's more than seven. Uh, but you, you get the basic point here. This is, uh, it, it's messing up here. But uh, as you can see, you can stack it as many times as you want. And just do this everywhere. So uh, this works mostly for creative. But of course, it will still work in survival. And it is quite a cool thing because you can just go up and down and have a really smooth staircase. As well as making a really smooth uh, terraform biome. If that's the sort of thing you're looking for. Uh, so yeah, the, the next little uh, tip I'm going to show you is actually a creative exclusive one. I mean creative because two of these tips are just for creative. The other three can still be done in survival though. Just a quick warning. But uh, So yeah, this little uh, second tip is that basically in a creative before, ha uh, before now, uh, if you you know, broke anything with any block, uh, like even with a raw, you, just your hand, you'll break blocks. So uh, this is kind of a fix for that because sometimes you just want to punch mobs away or you want to do other stuff. And the diamond sword or any sword for that matter, uh, if you try to break blocks of it, it will not work. Even though I'm in creative right now, as you can see by the hot part of the bottom there, uh, you can see I'm trying to break a block and nothing's happening. So uh, this is a cool little, uh, you know, feature right there. So it's mainly used for if you're building something massive and there are mobs in there, you want to push them away and then get back to breaking something like that. That's the main use for this, and it's quite cool in that regard. Uh, so this third feature I'm going to show you is probably the most well-known one on this list, but it is not in the changelog for whatever reason. Um, and I made a video on it earlier today if you want to learn more. But basically, it's crouch placing. So uh, crouch placing is... Uh, like basically before this update, if you had uh, you know an item that was like a chest, a hopper, a furnace, something like that, and uh, you opened it up, uh, or you tried to place something on it, it would open it up. So I want to place this hopper on the side of this uh, trap chest. You can't do that because it will just open up the chest. Uh, crouch placing means if you go to crouch like this, uh, then basically what will happen is uh, if you try to place something on the side of it, now it will just link in there. So you can't open chest while in crouch mode now, which is an unfortunate side effect, I guess. Uh, but on you know the plus side, to make up for that, you can now place blocks on the side of other blocks. So as you can see, I've got a little pipe system going on here, apparently. And that's a nice side effect of crouch placing. So crouch placing is one of my favorite features because you can do you can stack chests on each other if you want to uh, just by doing this. And that's a big benefit. Also, I got trapped in the chest. <laughs> and they're trapped chests. Uh... Anyway, so, so move on to feature number four. Uh, so this is you know a small one, but if you play creative a lot and you're going back and forth between the never and the real world, it's very useful because now if you're in creative, when you fly, fly through a never portal, instead of making you go through the animation, uh, it just does this and lets you straight through and you're in the never, which is really nice, of course. So uh, yeah, that leads us nicely onto our fifth uh, feature that wasn't announced, and it's one of my favourite ones that I've also made a seed that's really cool and it has lots of this, and basically it's Never Fortress Chests. So Never Fortress Chests are chests which spawn randomly in your Never Fortress, and they can have really cool stuff in them. So sometimes it's just gold armour, iron horse armour, some flint and steel and stuff, but sometimes it can be diamonds, diamond horse armour, uh, and stuff like that, and it's absolutely incredible the stuff you can find. So uh, there's a Never... Uh, Never Fortress chest over here, and these all do spawn naturally. So, uh, yeah, regardless of your world, if you reset your Never, you can get all this stuff. And I think it's really cool, and it's strange that it's not in the change log, but it's one of my favorite features because it gives the Never, like Never Fortresses, which before were just like dead places. You got Never Warts sometime. It turns them into a real place that you know feels alive because there's Wither Skeletons here too. And I don't know, there's risk, there's reward, and that's all you need for a fun structure. So, I opened this video showing you five secret features currently in Title Update 19. If you liked it, please do like the video. Let me know. Now, share it if you really liked it. Subscribe if you're new around here so you can see the latest uh, Title Update 19 videos I make. I'm making a ton of them uh, recently, and I'm also streaming some Ultra Hardcore in case that's something you care about. Uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.